What's up guys, it's Bucky. Welcome to your, uh, let's say, 31st draft tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be talking to you guys about something called an enhanced for statement. Now, in the last couple tutorials, I showed you guys how to use a counter controlled for statement to add up all the values in an array or just sum them all together. Well, actually, Java made a very uh, easier way to do this, and they named it an enhanced for statement. So let me show you guys how to do it. First thing we need is an array, and I'm going to name mine Bucky as usual. I'm going to use my um, array initializer and just set it to equal to like four, five, six, seven. Uh, there we go. Good enough. Now let's go ahead and we need another variable to hold the sum of the um, array, and you can name it sum or total, total, whatever you want. And now let's get uh, the good stuff, the enhanced for statement. Now this is um, kind of like a for loop, but it's different in a couple ways. It's different instead of taking three options, it only takes two different things that it needs in the parameters or parentheses. The first thing it needs is the type of data and an identifier. Now this is kind of like um, a counter variable in your regular for loops, but it's kind of different. This is, of course, the kind of data it takes, no surprise. In the X, what the X is, is it's going to store the values in the array as it's looping through your array. So the first time it loops through, it's going to store 3, then 4, then 5, then 6, then 7. And you just need a variable to hold all those values. So that's why this is called the type and this is called the identifier. Next, after that, the only other thing it takes is the name of the array. Now, if you're saying, all right, why do I have to name this array? In case you have more than one array in your program, one named Bucky, one named Toonfish, one named Dogwood, it knows what array you're talking about. So now that we have our for loop, our enhanced for loop, or for statement with our type identifier and name, we can go ahead and do something with it. So let's just go ahead and take that total and set it equal to X. And what's this gonna do is it loops through is add these numbers to total each time it loops. So the first time it's going to add 3 to 0, then 4 to 3, then 5 to 7, and it's just going to keep adding it up till it gets the sum, and eventually total is going to hold the sum of all those numbers. So now that total holds the sum, holds the sum of all those numbers, let's go ahead and just print out system out. Come on, print line. There you go. Total. Now let's go ahead and just print it out, make sure we don't have any errors, and we get the value 25. So let me show you guys what this did one more time. We went and uh, we made an array called Bucky using an array initializer. We then went and made another variable named total and set it equal to zero, and this would hold the sum of our array. Next, we made the special enhanced for statement. The first argument it takes is the type and identifier, what variable you want to store the array values in. Next, you need to say what array you were working with, what array you want to loop through. And now, you just did anything with those values. And we just decided to add them all to total to get the sum. Lastly, we just printed it out. So that's how you use an enhanced for statement. And remember, this is a for statement that's specialized to loop through all of the elements in your array so you can do something with them. So that's that for this tutorial. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hopefully I'll see you next tutorial.